What they were studying was the path of Uranus can't be explained simply by the gravity of the sun. So let's compare it. So it's the force between sun and Uranus would be 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11. And the uh, mass of the sun, 1.989 times 10 to the 30. And the mass of Uranus, which I have right here, 8.682. Let's erase this now. 8.682 times 10 to the 25 divided by, uh, and now the distance between the Sun and Uranus is 19.194 of the AUs. So I can put here 19.194 times 1.496 times 10 to the 11 quantity squ uh, squared. So let's erase this one here. So let's see what this comes out. Six point six seven three times one point nine eight nine. Uh, let me make sure I'm using the right mass here. Yeah, one point nine eight nine times uh, 8.682 divided by 19.194 squared divided by 1.496 squared times uh, 10 to the power, this is going to be 10 to the power 55 times 10 to the power negative 11 I could do that the only one step, but I'm just doing it separately. Divided by, and this is going to be uh, 10 to the 11 squared, so it's going to be 10 to the 22. Divided by 10 to the power 22. So the force here uh, between Sun and Uranus is 1.40 rounded to two decimal places there times 10 to the 21 newtons. Okay, as you could see here, uh, when we uh, compared the force between the sun and the moon and the earth and the moon, it was 10 to the 20th, okay? So this is even bigger, or the order of 10 to the 21. Okay, now let's do the force between Neptune and Uranus. Let's see how much Neptune is influencing the path of Uranus, okay? 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11. After using this uh, several times, you will get used to what these numbers are. You know, you use them so much. Times 10 to the 26. Let's erase this now. That's on Neptune. Let's erase this. So this was the mass of Neptune. As you can see, Neptune is heavier than Uranus. Um, but not by too much, because this is 0.8 times 7.6, this is 1. So it's not too much heavier. And the distance between Neptune and Uranus, well, of course, that depends if they are both on the same side of the sun, are they opposite. But let's assume for now that they are on the same side of the sun. So they're in conjunction with the sun. So that means their distance is the least possible that it can be. Uh, I, I am ignoring the ellipticity of their orbits because they're actually uh, elliptical, but let's just ignore that for now. Uh, so what we would simply do is just subtract these two, uh, go like this, 30.066 minus 19.194. As we would subtract the distance between the Earth and the, the between the Sun and Neptune, and Sun and Uranus, we would, that would give us the distance between Uranus and Neptune uh, times 1.496 times 10 to the 11th quantity squared. So let's do that: 6.673 times 1.024 times 8.682 times 10 to the power, uh, this is going to be, uh, let's see, 
6, 10 to the power of 6.5, that's going to be 51, right? Times 10 to the power negative 11 divided by quantity 30.0. Zero six six minus nineteen point one nine four, and again, you at home watching practice this yourself with the calculator. Minus nineteen point one nine four squared uh, divided by one point four nine six squared. Uh, okay, and divided by again ten to the power twenty two. Okay, so it is not nearly as big as that. 2.24 times 10 to the 17th newtons. Now notice how quite a bit smaller that is than the 10 to the 21. Uh, so if you ignore the, the beginning, just the first part of it, if you just take the ratio of 10 to the 21 over 10 to the 17, that would be um, roughly of the order of uh, 10 to the fourth, right? 10,000. So the gravity of the sun on uh, Uranus is 10,000 times stronger than the gravity of uh, Neptune on Uranus. But still, the gravity of Neptune is still felt. It affects the orbit of Uranus. Now, how did they figure that out back in 1830 when there were no computers and stuff like that, no programs? That is one of the amazing uh, piece of history of uh, science. How did they figure that out? They were geniuses. So, um, so that's pretty amazing that uh, even though the ratio is 10,000, they still figured out that there must be planet called Neptune. And uh, they uh, predicted its position, and in 1846, uh, they actually discovered the planet Neptune.